friends and my professor here. Today, hopefully, when maybe I am recording in the grocery store again. Um, yeah, because I feel like it was exciting and we still need to go to the grocery store. So, excuse the movement behind me and the noise around me and the smell about whatever is supposed to be received will be received. So, today we are doing a video reading for Sunday, August 4th, 2019. Um, whatever time you are watching this video, you are receiving this message is the perfect time because we are as a community, as an earth, as unity consciousness, we are shifting out of 3D linear thinking and into unity, multi-dimensional thinking. So, and part of that is linear timeline. So anyway, um, like, comment, subscribe if the spirit calls to you. Um, if you want to reach out to me on any of my other platforms, I am mainly active on Instagram um, at Oracle Jesse and Facebook at Oracle Jesse as well. And I am going to be starting a Patreon community soon, so that's really exciting for me. So. I'm going to tune in here to the cards. We are using the, the gateway to the divine oracle, uh, excuse me, tarot deck today. And I'm just going to tune in to the energy reading that we need to receive this week. And see where we go from there. So, okay, here we go. Card number one <clears throat> is the seven of coins this week. We are waiting. We are patiently waiting. I know we just had a, uh, the first harvest solstice of the three of the three solstices. So August first was the first harvest. Now we are waiting for our second harvest. We are patiently waiting. We know that it is the time to to wait. We have already put in the work. We put in the work up front for our fruits to bear later in the season, okay? We did the work in spring and summer. We are sustaining our position now. And it is just, it is this time to wait for our harvest to get ready. And so we know that we are going to get, we are going to receive the fruits of our labor. We know and we trust and we trust in the universe and we trust in divine timing and we trust in non-linear, multi-dimensional beings. We are stepping forward into our, more and more of our power. And this is about allowing it to happen in the right time and not forcing our time onto it, if that makes sense. Okay, card number two, here we go. Eh. Card number three almost came out with it. Card number two, okay, this is the death card. Um, I know we've had this in the past. It doesn't necessarily literally mean death. Um, so for those of you who are relatively new to tarot, it's not, it's not big and scary. This card, is all about transformation. We are learning to go within ourselves and trust in the timing of the transformation. We are learning to turn our own shit into fertilizer. We are learning to grow from the hardships that we've experienced in the past, sometimes the most recent past. We are learning to cultivate ourselves in a brand new way. As new earth energy leaders, we are learning to be more self-sustaining, self-sufficient, um, be a more fully integrated system in ourselves and in our own power. We are tapping into the transformation power within us and it's sometimes, you know, the stuff that we 
got and the old energy just can't come with us. You know, when you think of like growing a vegetable, uh, the flower dies in order to have the vegetable grow and then eventually be harvested. So the, pot, the petals themselves go back to the earth and become fertilizer then for the plant, either in that season or the next season. So that's what that card is all about. Okay, card number three, here we go, is the Seven of Wands. We are learning deeply about the sevens, and that is the, the learning part, the learning and application of these things. So the seven of wands is asking us to take a stand, to draw the line in the sand, to set boundaries with ourselves and with others as to what we can and cannot accept. And this is, this is a big deal for us. We are learning who we are and then learning to declare it to the world. This is a big step. Um, so just be aware of the boundaries that you're learning to project out to the world this week. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. For those of you who know me, you know I do the undercurrent card, which is the card underneath the deck here. And that is the Emperor. Pull that off here. Let you guys see it better. I'm sorry again about the lighting, but the emperor is someone who is very much in control of their environment. They know exactly what's going on, where they have their sources. You know, they have their their ability to get things done. They have the authority to declare to the world what they are and what they stand for. Again, with that seven of wands showing up here. <clears throat> they have the ability to pull resources from different areas of the realm. They have the ability to get stuff done. And this is very much a forward-thinking person. He's very collected, calm, knows, knows what needs to be done and when, has perfect timing. So as we embody this person this week, we are going to be able to step more forward into the fullness of who we are. We've been becoming this person for quite some time. And we're still learning to navigate that. But with this being the undercurrent, we're going to be able to full, more fully embody that this week. So, let me do a quick recap here. Card number one was the seven of coins. That's the waiting, the knowing, the trusting, and the divine timing. Card number two was the death card. And this is all about the inner transformation that we're going through. Um, and sometimes it is a literal trans transition in the outward physical realm, but rarely does this card literally mean death. So, card number three, here we go, was the um, seven of wands, the declaring the line in the sand, the boundaries, setting boundaries, declaring what and who we are and what we stand for and what we believe in. And then the undercurrent was the emperor, the able to declare who we are and fully embody that for ourselves, knowing that we are in control of ourselves, our thinking, and our situation. Okay, so that's what I've got there. I do have another deck that I want to break into, since this reading so far has been relatively short. Um, I don't want to go too long, but I do want to get into this deck here. This is the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck, and um, this is an Oracle deck. Like I said, it's different structured than a tarot deck, and um, because tarot decks have basic structures, and it doesn't matter which deck you're using but you can see the basic structure of it. Oracle decks have their own structure, all of their own. 
Let me pull a card here and see what we've got going on. Okay. This is the console. And this is talking about how we might be working closely with someone. And that's either a physical person or a person on the other side or multiple people or multiple beings. Okay? Angels, benevolent beings, ancestors, spirits, whatever you want to call them. We are working closely with them at this time to fully bring our best selves forward to manifest our dreams and goals in the physical. And they are uh, they are with us. We know how we know how to get in touch with them. We know we can hear them in here or here or sometimes we can see them. We know our special gifts to to reach out to them. And so they are here with us at this time wanting to work close even closer with us during this time, this special time of transformation this week. So I'm even seeing if some of you guys want to reach out and work closer with someone, either in the counselor capacity or to learn from someone. This is a time to do that. I'm seeing, um, for me, this is, they're speaking for me, it's a good time to launch my Patreon because I am um, stepping forward more now into that counselor role, into the role of someone who is able and willing to, um, to help create a community that we can all learn from together in a more official capacity. Okay? And the undercurrent here for this one is wind is the energy of wind and this is um, very much bringing messages you hear messages on the wind you hear messages from nature and just being in tune with the element of air and the element of wind is going to be very important to us so pay attention to wind this week okay so that's what I've got for us this week. I hope you enjoyed your community reading, um, energetic reading. Um, do check out my Instagram and Facebook at Oracle Jesse. I will put links to all of the, all of the things in the description below. We, um, keep an eye out this week. I will be launching my Patreon this week um, with budget-friendly options. Yes. For those of you who don't know what a Patreon is, it's basically for content creators like myself uh, to be supported directly by you. It's like the idea of Patreon. You guys would, if you choose to join my Patreon, you would be my two patrons supporting me at, I think I have the levels at $3, $11, and $27 a month. Um, there's three different levels and then you would enjoy exclusive benefits like um, I have a pay your own pricing option, I have courses coming out, I have exclusive readings that I'm going to be doing there just for patrons. So check out my Patreon when it comes um, when it comes out, when it is birthed into the physical. I have it almost ready, but I'm going to hit the launch button later this week. So, there's that. Um, yes, I am accepting one-on-one -on -one, um, clients and one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. So, that would be read readings, doing more readings like this, um, either by phone or by video. I like doing phone and video readings. Or um, coaching clients to do the more extensive work excessive one-on-one -on -one work and then um yeah like i said earlier like comment subscribe if spirit calls to you please take what resonates with you during this this is my offering to the community to the new earth energy leaders to the new template to the new humans this is my offering to the world so 
I love you all. I think that is it for today. Hasta la bye bye. I love you so much. So, so much. Hasta la bye bye.